The Tackle Your Feelings Roadshow is back again. This time, we've headed to the Wheat Belt region of WA. It's three hours east of Perth and a farming community through and through. This can be very isolating country and footy plays a big role in bringing the community together. So the team are really keen to get the boots on the ground and see how they can help out. So we're out here in Hyden, we've got Chris Shannon from West Perth Football Club, we've got Sam Rothman from the West Coast Eagles with Jackson Nelson. Oh, the perfect kick! They're running Come some on. junior footy clinics, they're about to take senior training, and then we're going to go inside to have a Tapping Feelings mental health education session. Just having their logo on and their shirts on, and just the presence, and seeing the kids in the community gravitate towards that, and a few of the people in the small towns. They love having the, those guys in the environment. Uh, junior footy was a massive part of my development. Um, I came through Auskick programs, a bit like the one that was out here tonight at. My junior club was really supportive of me through my footballing journey, and it's great to come out here tonight and give back to the local community. I think Tackle Your Feelings program is so important. It's in very basic language. What we want to do tonight is build on the understandings that you already have around mental health. Anyone can understand it. It's pretty low key, and you just give anyone who's got the um, courage to start the conversation, some real good confidence to carry it forward. It provides participants the opportunity to understand what mental health is, recognise when there might be a shift in someone's mental health, and the ability to respond um, to a mental health situation that presents to the club. It's kind of like pouring sunshine on mental health. People are thankful, they're engaged, feel like they've learned something. Next up was Meriden, a regional centre with roots as a watering hole on the way to the goldfields. We were fortunate to be joined by AFL umpiring legend Dean Margetts, and with over 300 AFL games to his name, he had plenty to share on how to look after his mental health with the pressure of umpiring at the highest level. Dean spoke a little bit about uh, the pressures that umpires face okay. and how that can impact on mental health. Obviously AFL umpiring is tough, it's, it's a, a real difficult environment but again it's a very supportive and inclusive environment for the umpires within. The six or seven guys in the room all umpire that sort of under 13s to under 17 sort of age range which is probably the most challenging where body sizes are changing, you know, we talked about dangerous tackles you know, tonight in depth, it's a big top talking point in the AFL and that trickles down into all levels of footy so I think they got a fair bit out of that and I love the fact that they're thinking differently now and even after the session then they came up and shared some stories of what they'd seen and what they'd done in an umpiring and I just thank them for doing what they do because without those seven guys umpiring those 13 year olds on Saturday, those kids aren't playing and never underestimate or undervalue the role that the umpire plays in the community of footy. Yeah, I've been an umpire, I've abused an umpire and I've heard abuse of an umpire and it's not acceptable. And to put a human face to it, I think if more people had access to that, yeah, you'd have a bit of a think before you, you acted on the weekend, you know. Our final day took us to the key agricultural centre of Corrigan. The local football and netball clubs joined together for our workshop in our best turnout yet. We're really lucky to have Courtney out here as a program psychologist. She's uh, been involved in sports psychology for a number of years now. Uh, she's actually grew up in, in regional WA herself. I think, you know, ability to, to run a program that's, that's led by a clinical psychologist who's got the knowledge and the theory behind it to really contextualise a program into a, into a sporting context is a real strength of the program. Often the ability to, to break down some pretty complicated language into something that's really easy, easily digested is, is really important with these conversations. We try not to overcomplicate it. Most people don't, still really don't know what to do or, or what to say or how to do it. These programs, when you've got a psychologist like Courtney up here talking, they're the experts, aren't they? Talking about programs and, and triggers and key, key identifications that we can look at are really important. In the club, one of your mates goes down and everybody really, really feels it. You can just tell the guys that are feeling it a little bit harder than others. The community spirit around the club is something that will help you through that sort of tough time. When you, when you bring people together, everyone enters the room with, with a different story. So it's, it's always interesting to see them engage throughout the night in some of the small group activities, share stories where they feel safe to do so. And, and often it's the conversation after the workshop that's, that's really powerful. I think it's been, been an absolutely magical week uh, out here in the Wheat Belt to, to bring together a program at, at no cost to these communities and be welcomed, have really purposeful conversations and uh, have people share their experiences has just been an absolute treat and, and something that uh, you know, I'm very, very appreciative that I've been able to be involved with.